Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Uh, it is... <laughs> it is Friday. I think we all need a weekend, uh, except James Comey. His started on Tuesday. <laughs> and ever since Comey was fired, folks over at the FBI have been feeling pretty demoralized. In fact, when asked for a comment, one veteran FBI agent told a reporter, who cares, nothing matters, no one knows anything, everything sucks. <laughs> I believe uh, we have a photo of that agent. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, FBI, there's got to be something that would cheer you up. You got those storage lockers filled with the cocaine and the bootleg DVDs. <laughs> Just stay up all night and watch all the Harry Potter movies on Fast Forward. <laughs> it's fun to watch them age. <laughs> and you can understand why morale is low with the FBI. It's not just Comey's firing. It's how Donald Trump did it. He sent his longtime private security guard to deliver the termination letter in a manila folder to FBI headquarters. If you ever want to know if you're the villain in a movie, ask yourself this question. Do I have a private squad of goons who terminate people? Hey, now, wow. Wow. a senior intelligence official said, it's not just that they removed him, it's that they did it in the most thuggish and humiliating way possible. I think that was designed to send a message. Cut this shit out or this will happen to you. This is like horse head in the bed. <laughs> yes. Wow. It's just like a horse head in the bed. This head is like the Godfather, the only in this one, nobody respects the Don. <laughs> but. But uh, yesterday, yesterday, uh, Sean Spicer stand-in and star of a one-woman show about Marie Osmond, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, <laughs> denied that there's a problem with morale at the FBI now. I've heard from countless uh, members of the FBI that are grateful and thankful for the president's decision. Countless? Uh, I have a calculator here. Uh, uh, let, 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 me, let me help you count. Go ahead. I certainly heard from uh, a large number of individuals, and that's just myself, and I don't even know that many people in the FBI. Okay, okay, a large number of... large number of people you know, and that is a small number of people that you know, and that adds up to... Yeah, it's bull <laughs> And... That's math. That's not me. <laughs> that's not me, that's math. Hey, hey, if you do the math, you get the right answer. The question answer. is, who will replace James Comey now? We need a head of the FBI. There are a lot of investigations. It's a huge organization. Some are speculating that it might be Chris Christie or Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Or as I call them, Tweedledee and Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> I personally... It'd be exciting to see those guys back on the national stage. I think he should appoint both of them. Giuliani can ride Christie's shoulders like master and blaster. <laughs> and it does feel like the aftertimes. And Americans aren't the only ones who are shocked about the Comey firing. So is the rest of the world. A British paper called Comey's firing a brazen attack on the rule of law. An Israeli paper described Trump as a president who doesn't play by any rules. And a headline in the Netherlands read, Vries voor doofpot na onschlag FBI topman. Now, I do not speak Dutch, but I think I know who the doofpot is. Watch that doofpot. Ausstublief. Oh, my Dutch. And the turmoil back here in the States is really hard on America's ambassadors. Like the U.S. ambassador to Qatar, Dana Shell Smith, who tweeted, increasingly difficult to wake up overseas to news from home, knowing I will spend today explaining our democracy and institutions. <laughs> that does sound hard. That sounds like a mm, tough gig. Yes, a tough, um, tough let me try to help you out, ambassador. Uh, I think I can explain our government to the people of Qatar. America is run by a group of powerful men, many of whom are very religious, doing whatever they can to protect their oil industry. I'm not sure if you can relate to that. <laughs> now, I don't... I don't... We always have... We always have a fair number of Qataris in the audience here. 